the reason <laughs> we got Toronto date night. What's the biggest mistake a guy can make on a date night? Probably this. Not doing too much. I forgot it was a date night. Not bad, but probably stay away from this. What's up, y'all? Gritty Dick here, here at Holt Renfrew Square One, and we're here for What Do You Wear? Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna build this outfit from these three categories. We got season, reason, and wild card. Let's get it started. For season, let's go fall. Perfect, that's my favorite season. Halloween's coming up, it's getting colder, so we got layer sat on this outfit. I'm excited about that. All right, for reason, let's do Go to the first one. League debut tunnel fit. That's also perfect, you know, because that's coming up. And we get a little sneak peek of what I could possibly do for that. And finally, we got wild card. High fashion denim. You know, I love denim. Let's do it. But I'm going go with the mindset of just, I'm going to be me and be unique with it. And if you're wearing stuff for other people, you know, that's when it's a problem. So I'm going to do me, be unique. I don't see any pressure. I just feel really nostalgic when, you know, it comes to fall. When I was little, I got straight hand-me-downs. I got two older brothers. I would get all their flannels, and I went in a straight <laughs> flannel phase. When I was little, I just remember having fun putting clothes together. So I think that's where it kind of started. Skinny jeans. It doesn't make me cringe, you know? It's kind of tough, but at the same time, I probably wouldn't do that. Gosh, grab this. The G-Shock. My oldest brother had a G-Shock. Now, if they're coming back, that's funny. I just grab these, why not? Yeah, it should be good. We're out here in Canada, so you know I had to do my best impression of the Canadian tuxedo. Starting with the shades, we got off-white sunglasses, Palm Angels denim jacket, a Miri knit sweater, Palm Angels jeans, and Amiri sneakers. My first impressions of Toronto has been amazing. The second I got here, everyone here is genuine. They have an amazing culture with the team. I love that. Caravan was probably one of the most unique things I've been to, not only on the float, but getting back on the street and just being with the people and um, dancing with them and you know walking up the highway. One of the really the most fun things I've, I've done in my life. One thing I love so much about Toronto is just the diversity of everything and people welcome everything and I can be myself and wear something like this. I keep talking about, you know, being yourself and everything that you do, but, you know, I'm gonna continue to do that and if it's you know, overdoing the sparkly suit, then, you know, I'm gonna do it. All right, time to mix things up for outfit number two. Let's get into it. All right, for our season, let's go bottom. Winter, no, that's perfect, more layers. I'm excited about that. For the reason, Ooh, we got Toronto date night, perfect. All right, let's go for the wild card, puffer jacket. Now I've been looking forward to that one. So. All right, let's pick some stuff out. For winter style-wise, I just layer up. Where will you can survive in for a couple of days unless a little snowstorm comes in? <laughs> That's like survival advice. <laughs> I'll probably start with the top, see what my top is first, and then if I'm gonna go simple with it, then I'll do the pants that kind of flare out. But if I'm gonna go crazy on the top, then more simple on the pants. If I'm going on a date with a girl, just be a gentleman. Just be kind. Don't overdress. Yeah, I went to Soto Soto Toronto last time, so dim lights, nice setting. I feel like that could do it. You can look good in anything. I'll give more credit to the people that just put on random stuff and make it look good, you know what I mean? What are these Rick Owens? Yeah, no, I gotta do some Rickies. If I'm going more simple, then I'm aware a lot more jewelry. A lot of times I'll just go with the black tee and just stack chains. <laughs> just do what you want to do, really. I feel good. Vintage frame sunglasses. Givenchy puffer vest. Givenchy t-shirt. Gucci watch. King baby bracelet. Amiri pants. Rick Owens sneakers. 
I just heard Puff Jacket. That's what I was excited about. Uh, I don't really wear, usually wear these a lot in Kansas, but I had to pull one out. I forgot it was date night. My bad. The music genres that I love to listen to, and little R&B, stuff like that, Broadway, Wave, definitely Drake, Young Boy. I always talk about my Mary J. Blige. Um, the glasses, I just saw the green in them. Makes me look like the Incredibles scientist girl thing. All right, y'all, no scenario this time. Let's just freestyle it. Definitely tough with all the options. So I'm just thinking, be myself with it. A little goofy. Let's we'll do these. All right, we good? My style, kind of like three categories. One, casual, more simplistic kind of thing. Two, layered up, fall is my favorite. And then the third is where I just put on anything for no reason, because I, I think it's funny, but it's me. All right, y'all, it's Grady Dick. Came through, put some outfits together for y'all. What do you wear? Season two, episode four. That's a wrap.